Hello campers, it's Daniel here again from Conqueror 4x4. It's funny, this is coming to you on video, but I wish you could actually be here with us today. This is why you camp. The conditions we're in are absolutely perfect. We've got the chicken on, it's about an hour away from being ready, and we've, we've set up camp. What we thought we'd do is show you exactly how to open the awning. So I'm just gonna talk about the awning for a second first. It's what's called a batwing awning, which means it covers both sides of the trailer, and it connects at the front and the back, and the tension from each side actually keeps it pulled quite tight, or keeps the tension, I should say. Now, where we are is a classic example of the fact that I don't need my second awning, I'm just gonna use my first awning. So there's only three things I need on top of the awning to get me set up. One is, got these really handy little ratchet straps. I get them from Bunnings, I've got them all through the garage and all through the camper trailer, you can never go wrong with them. But I'm gonna use these to actually keep the tension on the um, awning opposed to opening up the second awning. And for those that are a height challenge, some are, some aren't, I'm gonna need my little step ladder as well. Why don't you come with me and I'll show you how easy it is to set up this awning. So step one is simply unzip the awning bag. This is the awning bag, it's quite big, it holds the entire awning. Now reach up. Unzip that bag. And inside the bag, you'll see that the awning's held up with three straps. One, two, three. So I've unzipped the bag, I've, un I've let go of the straps. Now I'm just going to pull one side out. Now I'm gonna pull the other side. There's a little pull strap there. This is designed where the other side clicks into, but it's really easy to pull it out. When we bring this side over, this is the first side we're gonna put some tension on. It is as simple as putting my ratchet strap through the ring. There's plenty of attachment places on the trailer. I'm just gonna put it down here and pull. Now we're gonna do the other side. Now, on this side, you've got an additional awning arm this awning arm comes across, and that's for when you want to attach the piece of canvas that covers the back here between the two batwing awnings. In this case, I'm not going to use that. But what I am going to do now is again, I'm going to attach my ratchet strap. This is where I'm going to use my little step ladder. Step up here, and I'm going to put it in a ringlet. Now with the ringlets in the back on the Conqueror, You've got two, four, seven in total ringlet outlets, and you can see here that you can put them wherever you like. They actually act as tie down points. So if I wanted to, I could click another one next to it, and I could have two tie down points, and all this comes standard with the Conqueror. There we go. That's the next step done. This side of the awning is now tight. Now we've got the tension on both sides. All we need to do now is give us some height in the middle. Now this is a very clever system. First of all, the Conqueror comes with these little clips, very easy to use, and the end of the arm here has a rolling ball, and there's a reinforced section of plastic here so the canvas won't damage. All you simply do, push up the arm. Now that I've got my clip in, I'm just gonna put my arm across the side to hold the tension, that'll hold the arm up nicely. Now I'm gonna repeat it on this side, nice and simple. Arm up, pin in, clip over, done. Okay, so there's one last step and then there's one last consideration for the awning. The last step is now we've got this very big bag, as you can see, hanging down. It's covering our door and it's quite ugly. But this has a multi-purpose. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get the Velcro and hold it up, hold it up. and hold it up. So now your bag awning is well and truly out of the way. So the final consideration is your arms. Now these are actually attached into the awning, which is super simple. They simply come down, and then what you do is you unlock the latch and let it be. Now, if it's windy, this is gonna make sure there's a little bit more sturdiness on the actual um, awning itself. But I'll also bring your attention 
to these tie down points. Then the Conqueror does come with ropes and pegs. So if it's really, really windy, what I'd always recommend is pegging it down because the size of this awning, imagine the up gust that can come through, but it would have to be pretty extreme wind. I've done a lot of camping, um, obviously Victorian based, which means <laughs> rain and wind and cold weather and awnings comes hand in hand. And I've never actually had to tie them down, but it's a consideration. And as you can see, I can roll across to this side. And quite easily set up the arms. So that's how you set up the awning on the Conqueror UEV 490. It's possibly the simplest awning and the largest awning on market. Um, nothing to be worried about. If I can do it, so can you. Hope to see you on the trails. Thanks again.